everybody and welcome back to Jeff Quinton TV. Yes, I am your host, Jeff Quinton. This is the most passionate real estate show here on the internet. Today we're going to talk about, okay, so we're going to talk about a conversation I had today with a client and a seller. And I had this conversation with many clients many times. So here's what we're talking about. Should I wait the market out? Am I going to wait it out? And should I wait it out? to get myself out even, or do I look to even consider doing a short sale? Okay, meaning that the lender accepts less than what's owed because of what I owe versus where the market is. This is a, a scenario that I, I talk with people every single day and they fight with their heads, what do I do? So, I wanna show you and, and take you through the conversation that I have with these guys today and show you exactly about the numbers on how this looks for this client if they should go uh, now, short sale and be done or wait the market out. Okay, so here we go. So, I had a conversation with a seller today that's been on the market for a long time, okay, and they can't sell their home and basically they said, you know what, we're going to take it off the market, we're just going to wait the market out. Which, you know, everyone says that, I'm going to wait the market out, wait the market out. So it's just a matter of how soon are you willing to wait it out and for how long and does it really make financial sense to wait it out. So here's what it was. This seller, okay, paid 600 $650,000, okay? $650,000 they paid in December of 2005. 650000 okay? They put like 20% down back then for round numbers. They owe $520,000 is what they owe, all right? Currently today, the property realistically to sell it in the next 30 to 60 days is worth about $450,000, okay? So today it's worth 450,000 in June of 2012. Now, if they sold it right here for 450,000, let's say they decided to sell it today for 450, after commission, real estate, transfer tax, all the nitty gritty, net is 418, okay? So we got $418,000 net. Well, they owe, they owe right now 520,000. So they would sell today for market price 450, net 418, and ultimately they would uh, be upside down, or they'd need to bring money to the table of $101,000. It came out to $101,500. So basically, let's say they're upside down, okay? Upside down, 100,000 bucks. So, so it has an option. One, either brings that money to the table out of savings or whomever, wherever the money may be, pay the lender off, they're out of the property, they walk away. Or two, they ride the market out, meaning that they wait for the appreciation of the market, get all the way up until they can cover that amount, and or, many sellers said, I'm not taking a loss, I'm gonna ride it out, and ride it out until I can get this market, the market's coming back, and I wanna make it, you know, get back even. So that's fine. So we need to look at this for this person's uh, scenario. So they're upside down by 100,000 bucks, okay? So, what's interesting about this is on the $520,000 that they owe, right here, they've got a monthly payment right now of $2,800, okay? That's for principal and interest. In addition to that, they've got their taxes, okay? So they got another $500 a month in taxes, they got another $200 a month in insurance. So they've got a total of $3,500 a month in total payments. So principal, interest, taxes, insurance, $3,500 a month, times 12 months, they've got $42,000 a year that they're gonna basically have to carry this property with, okay? For 42,000. Now, in the market that we're in here down the Jersey Shore, in this case scenario, they're able to rent the property out as a second home vacation home and get the income from that. So here's what the rents look like. Rental income, 25,000 gross, and they're gonna net out of this after uh, real estate fees, commission fees, cleaning fees, utility fees, everything, they're gonna net themselves 16,000, okay? So they bring in a net annually of 16,000, but they're paying out basically 42,000 a year based upon their current mortgage and all the expenses. So right now they're upside down every year. They've got a negative, negative cash flow, 26,000, negative cash flow 26,000. So no matter what they do, however long they decide to hold this property, it's gonna cost them $26,000 out of their left pocket. In other words, they're gonna write a check every year, net, and basically they gotta wait this market out, pay $26,000 every single year. Keep in mind, if the value today is at 450,000, okay, 
what I would say is as a good investment, you need to at least maintain the appreciation and value of the home should go up in the same proportion that your negative cash flow would be. So at least you're writing a $26,000 negative cash flow, hoping that your asset over here is going to increase by the same amount. Unfortunately, in our market today, we're seeing a zero appreciation. Okay? So here's what they have to decide. How long am I willing to carry the $26,000 for? And how long will it take us to get out even or not to lose any money on this investment when buying it back in 2005? Well, here's what we figured out. What we figured out was right now, okay, we're $100,000 upside down. But the reality is, is that the value of the home is at four fifty, dollars and we, we, we don't want to lose any money, right? So for us to get out even at six fifty, dollars what we paid for it, we've got to actually sell the property for $695,000, which means that covers the commission, the transfer tax, everything. So to net six fifty, dollars so we get all of our money back out, all right, paying off the mortgage, we got to sell this for $695,000. Now, the reality is, for the market to go from today at four fifty dollars up to six ninety five, dollars it's a long way away. We're talking about $245,000 the value has to go up by. Okay? Now, $245,000 right now, that means that the market value has got to appreciate by 54%. 54% it would have to go up by. So the question is this. When in the market is the market going to increase, in this case, 54%. Well, even if today, guys, even if the market today started out, and let's say in a good market, it appreciated 5% a year, okay, starting today. Well, in this case, it would take us 10 years, 10 years of every single year, 5%, 5%, to appreciate all the way up to get this seller out even. So the question is, in this case, we said, well, are you willing to wait out 10 years minimum that's starting today. They said, no, we're not going to hold it out for 10 years. The next question was, well, let's think about this. You're willing to write a check out every single year of $26,000 negative. So are you willing to write a check every year, that's called 10 years, and spend $260,000 out of your left pocket to service this asset in hopes that it goes up by, all the way up by, 54%, which is only 245000 So let me get this right. You're willing to write a checkout of 260000 in the left pocket in hope and prayer and pray the market goes up by 245000 which is 54%. All meanwhile, it's 10 years go by of carrying the property. Who knows what's going to happen? The property's going to be 10 years old, older than it is now. So this seller said, it just does not make sense for me to continue to hold this property and throw good money after a bad asset. That's what we came to realize. So, they said, well, what do we do here? So, we have an option. One is you can either bring the $100,000 to the table or you can wait it out and throw $260,000 and hold it. You know, I'd rather you just bring the $100,000 today, get rid of the loss, cut it and be done. Or you've got to understand that you're going to be this far upside down to try to get back. Or the other option was, guys, consider doing a short sale. That's the bottom line. Go to the lender, have the lender accept less than what's owed. This seller has decided to go short sale. Now, they say to me, what's a short sale and how does it work? I, you know, I always hear that it takes long and, and our, our concern is about credit. All right, so here's the bottom line, guys. Look, when you do a short sale, it depends. Some lend lenders will obviously report it to the credit bureaus. Some don't, by the way. In fact, clients never even, never even hit their, they hit their uh, credit report. Some lenders will report the credit, okay, as negotiated paid, which will ding up your credit. Typically, anywhere between 100 to 150 points. So today, if you're great, if you got great credit, you know, 750, 800, it might go down to 650. If you're at 750, it might go to 600. Who knows? Between 100 and 150 points. But let me tell you what my clients understand. They understand that they can rebuild their credit back from where it goes down to all the way back up to where it is currently now, much faster than the market is ever going to rebuild itself. Guys, you could do a short sale today, get the lender to completely give you debt, completely take away all the debt, okay? Have them accept less than what's owed. You get full debt forgiveness. Walk away. We do all of it for you. If you qualify for that, you walk away. Now, what's the negative part? The con, the pros and cons. The pro is you walk away debt free, you're good to go. Stop throwing good money after a bad asset, right? The con is your credit report. Yes, having credit means everything. Understand. Don't let me get me wrong. However, you can rebuild your credit back in 12, 18, 24 months. 
Within two years, it can be right back to 750, 800 or wherever your credit score is. A lot faster re rebuilding your credit than continuing to throw you know, this good money after a bad asset, which might take you 10 years, or in this case, this seller, 260,000 in hopes that it goes up by 245,000 and 10 years later. It just certainly didn't make sense in this scenario. So think about your scenario. If you're consider selling the property, look at these numbers, go over these numbers. I'll go over them with you to see in your, your case, if it works or not, you know, a short sale is a solution, especially today. Lenders are willing to do short sales all day long. Even if you are current, they're willing to do them. They understand all of this. So give me a call. Let's go over your, your situation. It's confidential. Let's take a look at your situation, your numbers, and see if this is even an option. But many sellers today are doing a short sale, walking away, debt-free, the lender's accepting less, and they're coming back to buy homes again two years later with credit way up, making unbelievable deals. So hopefully this has been informative to you. If there's anybody you know that's in this situation that can need my help or understand this information, please give me a call. And uh, you can reach me at jeff at jeffquinton.com by email. My number is 609-398-5333. Call me. I really appreciate you looking at this. Comment below here on the blog. Pass it on to anybody you know. And uh, I look forward to our conversation being the best call of your day. Thanks for watching.